Hello everybody, welcome back to the We Scale Now YouTube channel, uh, where we are super, super excited about Trailblazer and we can't stop talking about it. And we're having a great time doing it. Today, I wanted to make a region tier list because we have all of the information that we need. We know the exact borders of the regions and we know exactly how it's gonna work. We're getting Mistelin for free. We're getting Karamja for free. And out of the rest of the areas, we are only gonna be allowed to have three unlocks. So it's gonna be kind of important to know which one is the strongest, right? Um, which one is the um, gonna give you the best content? Uh, what's gonna be the most fun? So let's get right into it, let's talk. I'm not gonna rank Mistelin or Karumja, so let's just like put those off to the side. The first one here that's on the very top of the list is the wilderness. The wilderness. So question, chat. Which tier is the wilderness going into? Type one to vote S, two for A. It goes down the list, you guys can get it. You guys understand how this works? All right, Twitch chat. It seems like you have decided that wilderness is a hard C. Twitch chat has put it here. So just standard, this is gonna be the pattern of the video. We're gonna throw it where Twitch chat says and possibly adjust it if I want to. Let's talk about why wilderness is C. Listen, everyone is terrified of choosing the wilderness because people keep talking about how trolly clans are. They're gonna lock down the revenants. They're gonna lock down every single boss. Clans are gonna run the place even though there isn't very much of a reward of doing so. Even though that's the case. Now let me clue you in on a little secret. I actually think that that is propaganda from all the people who are choosing wilderness. They're trying to scare everyone else away so that they can have all the resources for themselves. When in reality, they're getting Laren's keys. They're getting Wilderness Slayer. They're getting the Dragon Pickaxe. They're getting the the Fountain of Rune. They're getting the they're getting the Chaos Altar. Yeah, it's huge. They're getting the Boneyard. They're getting all kinds of stuff. Green Dragons. Just kidding. I mean, Wilderness is somewhat limited, but me personally, we skill now. I actually am scared of clans locking down. Uh, just like mundane things. And if if certain things are locked down, that means you literally just don't have access to one of the things that you spent a ton of your resources unlocking. Because you only get three areas, and if one of them you're choosing the wilderness on, and it's just totally locked down, that's gonna be really annoying and frustrating. For that reason, I am agreeing I'm gonna leave the wilderness in the C tier. Who knows? I think at least by the end of it, PvP will be sparse. You can at least say that. All right, boys, let's do an interesting one here. Next up, we are going to be polling. Tiro, Tiran, Tiranen, Tir let's call it the Elflands. Vote, 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 let me hear it, let me hear it. What are we doing, what are we doing? Now, in my opinion, chat's not saying B when looking at this graph, because I think you need to balance a little bit of those A's in as well. So I think that this is an A from, from chat. Am I wrong? Because if all the S's banded together and went A, then it would be A. Oh, I see. I could just put it down here. I'll sink it a little bit down. A, a lot of B votes, actually. And I'm kind of interested. Uh, the Elflands have really, really good things. Prif, Zolcano. Well, I guess all the things that are included in Prif, including Zolcano, including Gauntlet. Those are awesome things. What else? You got rune rocks, you got you got agility training, you have construction training, you have Zolra. Access to the blowpipe, although maybe not entirely access to the blowpipe, if you if you count that you need to have desert as well if you're going to unlock uh, the darts. Prif just ac has access to a lot of high level content and it's it's real good. So the elf lands, not to be slept on. So in my opinion, I thought without without thinking about it very much, I had this in A, but chat dragged it down a little bit. So let's keep going and check out some more areas. Chat, we're going to vote on the Fremenic area next. <laughs> Don't want to vote because I have no idea. Well, hey, it's just a Twitch vote. Like, who cares? Throw it out there. Throw it out there. Actually, voting is very, very good because it makes the audience know that there's a bunch of people in here. They don't realize that there's 80 people in here. They think that there's only 28 people in here. 
Throw some random votes out there. Make the S go up. Make the D go up. Let's see. Let's see. Where is A tier coming from? Honestly, kind of interesting. Finish the poll with a hard A. I mean, boys, if Twitch chat said it, Fremnik, let's talk about the Fremnik region. A decent region, as as all of them are, of course. We, we finally have to say that all of the regions are pretty sick. But what would make people vote A for Fremnik? Let's think about it. If you think about Fremnik, one interesting place is Keldegrim, which actually is going to be uh, offering some interesting things in terms of your player-owned house. It's pretty sick. You get Dragon Slayer 2 auto unlocked, but you do have to have Fremnik unlocked for it. So the Myth Guild come the Myth Guild comes with a lot of awesome things. Dagonoth Kings provide uh, rings for all combat types and the Dragon Axe, pretty sick. Massive thing from the Fremnik, Lunar Spellbook, really good. Vorkath and all of his his drops and, and benefits, the God Books, big thing, because, because we're all Iron Man. Think about it, Missil Mi Miscellanea. Fremnik, it is good. It's I can't even knock it. Can't even knock it. Let's do a, a big one, Asgarnia. People are very confident in this one. So let's see how Twitch chat votes on Asgarnia. All right, chat, let's go. Let's go. God Wars could be super crowded. Yeah, Jagex is still going to be having uh, some meetings and and talks to discuss if they're actually going to implement something to make it so that Iron Man can go and have instanced battles in God Wars. We got A, got a little bit of S in there. So if I were to interpret this, I believe that that puts Asgarnia, and I'm not always trying to just like average things out, but I do think it's it's like decent to say, we're gonna put Asgarnia a little bit into the S there. Asgarnia, huge. People have high expectations for Asgarnia. I have heard uh, people describe Asgarnia before we even talked about making a tier list as S tier and that everyone was going to take Asgarnia. So what's so good about Asgarnia? Let's think about it. Huge one, God Wars, Cerberus. But let's say you're not a big combat chat. We've also got Motherload Mine. We got the Mining Guild. You have all defenders from the Warriors Guild, that's super cool. Pest Control provides void equipment, that's sick. Uh, if you happen to max, there's the max cape in Asgarnia. Crafting skill cape, giant mole. There's, these are all good things, like cannon. Uh, honestly, proselyte armor is real good too, right? Prayer. Uh, keep in mind that they're still deciding whether or not God Wars is going to be instanced. As an Iron Man, if two people attack the same monster, no one gets the drop. So it might be impossible to actually get drops unless people stop crowding it. It'll be insane, right? I don't know. So Asgarnia obviously has some amazing things, but let's not forget about the most important one. The games room. If you are subscribed to this YouTube channel, you're going to be invited to the games room in Trailblazer to have a good old Wii Skill Now games time it's gonna be great it's gonna be absolutely amazing ah! emily you're not scary <laughs> asgarnia i think we made it through the asgarnia section so let's talk about boom the one everyone was waiting for let's vote on kandarin okay we usually get a about 25 votes that's about how many active uh, voters there are so let's finish it up boom no surprise we're throwing that Right up into, okay. uh, we're throwing Kandarin up in S tier. The most solid, the most solid vote, the most uniform vote that we've had yet. Everyone wants this in S. There were a few in A, but I think that they were just trying to be edgy. Kandarin has it all. Best thing, pickpocketing knights. That's it. Not actually the best thing, but it is going to be fun. <laughs> just like, you feel so at home in Kandarin. There's so much to do. But let's talk about some huge things. Piety, all the Xenite uh, jewelry. Slayer's great here. You've got the Dragon Scimitar. You got access to Barbarian Fishing, Gnome Village. ZMI for some runecrafting experience, super important. The RD Agility Course. I love the RD Agility Course. Tent Whip, Red Chin Hunting. Uh, there's actually a decent chance here that there's a bunch of quests that will award combat experience and if that's the case you almost can't really 
pick this. You, you, you can't really skip this, to be honest. One thing that's a little bit rough about Kandarin in terms of design of, of Trailblazer is I think that the amount of counts that don't take Kandarin is going to be in the single digit percentage. Like everyone's taking Kandarin. It's so good. It feels like the best. And I think everyone agrees here. Let's vote on the desert. Chat, what do you think for desert? By the way, just so you know, we're gathering a whole bunch of cool people in the We Skill Now subreddit. Go to r slash We Skill Now. There's a bunch of guides for Trailblazer there and also opportunities to participate. It's a place to go to participate in stream activities, such as we might have an art contest here and there. We might have a merch design contest here and there. Um, designing assets for the stream. We might have like a making music contest in there once in a while or something like that. You can post memes in there making fun of me and I will react to them on stream. Wow, C and D absolutely tied. All right, we saw the votes. It really did consistently come down to in the votes between C and D both times. I almost can't in good conscience put this like below wilderness. I don't know, there, there are a few things in the desert like maximum uh, mining experience rates and a, a, a Pharaoh's Enclave replacement with bonus HP. It's pretty sick, honestly. Uh, think about ancient magic. You, some might say that you can't provide blood runes to use ancient magic, but you can. When you when you go to all stores, they are special in Trailblazer. They get auto restocked for blood runes, so don't even worry about that. Ask Conch. All right, chat came up with the real solution. <laughs> we are gonna ask the Magic Conch if Desert should be in C tier or D tier. So we'll we'll give it a fair chance. You'll see how this works. Conchy, should the Desert go in the C tier? Yes. Should it go in the D tier? Maybe someday. All right. <laughs> the desert's a C tier area, just like that. <laughs> Congratulations, desert. What should we not fail to mention with the desert? It unlocks dart tips. That's huge. It's got the fire altar for rune crafting fire runes. It's not that cool. It's got the mage training arena, and this might, might be a big reason for me to not take it, because I don't really enjoy doing the mage or training arena, or arena tasks. And if you take desert, you have to expect that you are going to be spending time in the mage training arena. Blackjacking, pyramid plunder, agility pyramid, great things. Okay. Lava's his best rune crafting experience. We had a discussion about lava's earlier. Lava's don't really seem possible. I'm so interested in, in what Chad is going to vote Mauritania right here. Let's check this out. Well, I feel bad about putting this in A just to balance out S and B. It's kind of interesting. But then again, if I put it in a bad spot, I'll actually bait YouTube comments. We had B tier win, but there was pretty much an equal amount of S, so it feels like this fits into A here. Mauritania, what can you say? Other than a lot of things. Black Mask, Theater of Blood. Uh, I'm not going to mention the Abyssal Whip because you can get that in Mistelin. The Slayer Tower. Absolutely massive one that everyone talks about. Barrows. Barrows equipment is huge and, and versatile. Theater of Blood is a pro, but you need to be really good to like utilize Theater of Blood runs, right? So it's kind of interesting. Uh, it's an interesting part of the conversation. There's also Day Alt Essence, which is new content. It'll help you out with your rune crafting. Temple Trekking is going to be a great way to provide you with uh, extra resources including experience tomes directly, but also bow strings and herbs. Uh, one of my favorite things, the Hollowed Sepulchre. I think that's going to be super fun, super cool. And the Ecto Funtis is nice as well. Don't forget about you get the, the Ava's devices here as well. So pretty sick. There's a really good uh, AFK combat training place as well. Experiments. Actually, that might not be AFK. It's just like Good. Uh, Darkmire, the city of Darkmire, so cool. I love the AFK training in Darkmire because of just killing Vyres over and over again. Um, there's an altar right there. You you train you pray melee and you can just stand there. They drop really good Alks and like blood shards, but that's probably not super important to your account progression. But it's super cool. It's gonna be great. Well, everybody, here it is the official tier list of the We Skill Now Twitch chat, here's what we voted on. I would generally agree with this one, 
because my mind has been spinning a bit. Kandrin, I want it. Asgarnia, I want it. Mauritania and Tyranin, I want them. Which one, though? Fremnik has a decent shot, and a lot of people are going to choose it based on, like, the Lunar Spells and Miscellanea. I don't think it's for me personally. But my choices are, are certainly rotating around the S and the A tiers. I'm interested to hear people's plans for, for those people who are planning to choose C tier options. The wilderness and the desert. That's interesting to me. Well, everybody, there's the list. If you disagree with any of these votes, let me know in the comments and totally explain your rationale there. Let's let's hear what you're thinking in terms of, of uh, plans. Um... Tell me why the desert's actually S tier. Tell me why Priftinus actually sucks. It belongs way down in D tier. Let's hear it. I want, I want to hear your opinions. If you enjoyed this video, please, please hit the like button and make sure while you're down there to subscribe as well. Now, wait, this isn't the end of the video because I wanted to make sure to make this most important point. We spent all this time making a tier list of regions, but I actually wanted to give you this message of empowerment because in the end... These, these regions are kind of just in terms of like the main game. How much content is there to progress your account in the main game? But if you really think about it, Trailblazer isn't about the main game. It's about doing tasks that are available in each region. So that puts an entirely different spin on what would be possible or what actually is best in Trailblazer. So in terms of, of Mauritania, yeah, if you're good at Theater of Blood and you're going to run 100 runs of Theater of Blood real quick, Boratini is going to be great for you, but a lot of people aren't going to be able to do that. Uh, and in terms of, of the desert, maybe there's less high-level content in there for, for, for you to do. So if you just want to like, chill at the Mage Training Arena, which is probably going to be worth a lot of points... Definitely, the desert's for you. In the end, if you choose based on what other people want for you, it's not going to be a fun time. But if you choose based on the content that you think is fun and that you want to do and that won't burn you out for two months, you're going to do great and you're going to have the best time as possible. And that's really, in the end, all that matters when it comes to Trailblazer. You having a fun time, having a great journey, and and who cares if you get a Dragon Cup? Who cares if you get a Rune Cup? It's, it's about having fun. So let's have fun. Let's have a great time in Trailblazer. And I'm excited to see you guys there. And, and so excited to get this thing started. Thanks so much for watching the video, everybody. If you feel like hanging out with us in Twitch land, Twitch wants to see you as well. Wait a minute. You guys haven't even said hi yet. There it is. <laughs> Twitch chat wants to hang out with you as well. Even if they say some mean stuff, they want you here as well. Regardless, I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys in the form of YouTube videos, in the form of a progress log, in terms of my journey in Trailblazer. Man, it's going to be so fun, and I hope to hear your guys' experiences as well. If you guys want to have a group to hang out with while you're playing Trailblazer, consider joining my clan chat, We Skill Now. It's open for business. We've done the grand opening. Join the We Skill Now clan chat. You'll always have someone to hang out with there. We've also got a subreddit, r slash we skill now. People are, people are posting uh, trailblazer guides and, and things of that nature there. And, uh, and it's just becoming like a really good resource for a lot of things, actually. In the comments, make sure to let me know which three regions you're taking. And I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.